got the new calf just above board. Last couple of pushes. There we go. Get that calf. There we go. There we go. Bull calf. That's a big calf. Good job, Mama. It's breathing, shaking the head around. That's a big calf. Really big calf. Hey, Mama. Nice bull calf. Good job, Mama. Well, that's about uh, 20 after 1 on February 11th in the morning during the night, however you want to call it. We've had another calf, another bull calf. I'm deciding to sleep in the barn tonight. It's warm outside. That's a big calf. Um, but I'll pull them into the barn once she's licked it up. Just for simplicity of work, uh, letting them be in their own pen. But I'm guessing, we'll see. I've been hoping for many days here that the cabin would pick up, but we were watching on camera. Millie and uh, Lindsay were watching on the camera inside the house. Uh, I just noticed that there's a lot of cows standing up, turning around, wagging their, moving their tail, and acting a little off. So, who knows, maybe it's me just hoping that we're going to have more calves, but one of these nights, one of these days, it's going to get busy because there's a lot that are showing. So, yeah, I'll let her lick it off and then we'll uh, bring them into the barn. You're too big. I can't even lift you. Well, I don't know what to do here. I mean, it's not worth it to risk getting hurt over. Mama's taking care of it. It's not very cold outside. Coffee's doing fine. calf is so heavy I need a dryer in order to lift it because I can't I can't even lift it uh, I guess that shows how weak I am but shoot um, I'd like to bring them inside just because that's what I do we're gonna leave them for a bit All right, well, no more calves overnight. And this mom has been a little bit, uh, a little bit protective, which is okay, I guess, except that I fear that she wants to kill me. Um, this calf is huge. I'm still a little in awe that I couldn't pick it up. So I got them inside. I wanna put, a, I wanna see how heavy it is, cause it's big and and she did it 100% on her own. So I wanna put a weight on it, and I'm not 100% convinced she's been on, she's been eating, so that's the other reason why it's nice to have these calves in a small pen. So, all right, mom, I wanna wait. I'm here to help, so don't kill me. Don't kill me. Come on, move.
All right, well, not the heaviest cap we've had on our farm. 126 pounds though, heavy enough. Not the smartest either, so we have had in the past where you have a heavy calf, they're kind of dumb, so yeah. I'm pretty sure this calf is not been on, but 126 pounds. That's a heavy calf, so. I literally just booted them out. That's awesome. The cow is not a very happy cow with me, but she stood here outside the maternity pen and uh, helped me get the calf on. Now the calf has been on, so that's awesome. Uh, Perfect. Well, I gotta run. Boys got hockey. I gotta get to that. Daryl, Peter, and Rob, I think are doing the feeding and going through everything for Saturday and just to make sure everything is done. And if nobody else is gonna calve, it's gonna be a pretty quiet day, so. Well, it's another beautiful day. And I know you can't feel it, but I don't have my juke today. In fact, I don't even need my jacket today. Oh, that's a loud beep. Um, so that's how you know it's a beautiful day. Um, we're enjoying the weather here and had another calf overnight. Kendall was uh, dealing with that in the middle of the night there. And uh, this morning the guys, Peter and Rob, are here to, to uh, we'll get feeding done here for the day and then we're gonna process that calf. So um, also gonna try to dig our auger out of the snow so that next week we can unload our seed wheat into uh, into bin and uh just gotta do a little bit of cleaning up there to get that auger out so Down, Peter. Single, single. I don't like that. But What's that? I don't like that. But What's that? Oh, it'll be fine. Go. Uh, let's make sure we just don't want. It has to move easy. Can you hook the hydraulics for the turning on? Try turning your tires. Do that again. Nope. We gotta get a shovel and shovel the wheels out, bud. Okay, so we got it all dug out. We should be good. Doesn't look like we've done anything here yet, which is good. We have not pulled torque. We just do not want. Try turning your tires. Okay, do it again. Okay, good. Whoop. Yeah, they're definitely towed in a bit. Try going ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yep, it's gonna go. Keep going. Yeah, it'll go. Hey, Peter's gonna bring that into the yard slowly. I'm gonna go take the rest of the silage tarp off. 
Just take it in slow, Peter. Okay, so we got the auger out, we got the silage pile um, untarped or uncovered and uh, basically got things done that we wanted to here this morning. Just coming into the barn, here's the calf, the uh, cat or cow the calf last night. I think what maybe we're going to do, trying to decide, maybe what we're going to do is boot the mom out and I'll process this calf. Okay, so we got this little guy all processed. We got tags on him because it's so nice that we're not waiting any longer. He's good to go. Mom, mom's out eating, so we're gonna keep them separate for a little bit, and then uh, we will boot them back out with the rest of them. So. Well, I got a cow that's calving. You saw it on camera and noticed it hanging from hanging from the cow it's still hanging from the cow come on push it out come on push come on come on push Every now and then we have this, where this cow, cow will do this. Come on! Keep moving, keep moving. As you move. There we go. Here we go. See? Good job. What did you have? Baby boy, baby girl. Yay! We've got a bull calf. Oh, yeah, you want to go inside? Hey, don't worry. Yours was bigger. This is a good size. Uh, there we go. Uh, All right, that's number two for the day. Uh, this cow here. She's the one that calved earlier. I'm gonna let her into the barn where her calf is. Hey, let's go, come. Come follow me. Come, come, let's go. Come, let's go. Come here, yep, come on. Come here. Come on, let's go, yep. Come on, let's go. Yep. Come on, yep. Come on. Man, this morning she wanted to kill me. Now I'm her friend. There you go. Come. Let's go. And there's her calf, her big calf. All right. Okay, it's beautiful out. Me and my nephew, Becton, we moved out the, that big pair that calved last night. We moved them out to the middle pen over there. And now we're actually gonna work with our, we're gonna work with his 4-H animal, see if we can get it, uh, get the halter on it weigh him he can work with him a bit so 
We'll see how this goes. All right, not everything has to be a competition, but we'll see who can get a halter on first here. Even if you can get it on Jackson's. All right, Jackson's is done. Just me, you can even just tie him right up there. All right, right here we got Jackson, my middle son. His 4-H steer is calm enough that we were able to get the halter on him out in the pen. He's got himself a purebred short horn 4-H steer. Then there's Parker, my oldest son. He's got, uh, oh, I think here's a cross, right? Semito bull with a short horn cow. And he got, he just got the halter on in here, so. And here we got my nephew Becton. What is yours? Is uh, this is Semitol? Yeah, Semitol. On a Semitol. 4-H animal. Couple bald spots from scratching himself a bit. But yeah, this is Becton and his 4-H animal. What was his name? Uh, Kevin. Kevin. What was yours uh, name, Jackson? Case? Yeah. Parker? Dominus? Dominus? Yeah. All right, do you want to comb? Sure. All right, kids have been working with their animals for a little bit here, not too long. I brought that new pair in here. I, I uh, brought that new pair in here. That calf processed it, 96 pounds, nice birth weight. Now you gotta see whether she gets on. If she gets on, we can boot them right out right away. So, but now we're gonna try doing some uh, weights for our 4-H animals. So we'll see what they come in at. Good job, Parker. There you go. Pull him in. 1,118 pounds. It's big. 1120. Right around there. Right around 1120. Okay. Let this one out. We'll have to figure out how much weight he's gained, but Fine. give him a good push, Parker. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on to the scale. We want to weigh you. Obviously, you're not hungry. Come on, let's go. Come on. Okay, let go of the rope a little bit. It's heavier than mine. All right. A little bit lighter, but he's 1,050, 1,050-ish. Uh, Perfect. Two down. All right, buddy, let's go. Definitely the easiest. Yeah, a little bit lighter though. 960 pounds. Right on. We'll have to figure out what their weight gain is, but they're coming along nice. Okay, I looked up on the records and 
Jackson's has gained the most. In the last month he gained, it's been a little bit over a month. The Roan one gained 180 pounds. The full red one has gained 160 pounds. And the red one with the white face, which is Becton's, he's gained 150 pounds. So they've all been gaining pretty good. And some of them are already in those uh, good like good weights. If we can get in that 1,200 pounds, that's that's pretty good. 12 to 1,400 pounds is great. So, and we got a few more months to go before fair. So, yep, 4-H animals are coming good. They're getting a little bit more tame. Kids need to just work with them a little bit more. So, <clears throat> we'll see whether we have any cows uh, calve yet today. But uh, if not, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for taking time to watch. Have a good one.